Yes, um, it's me again, Elizabeth. This is my third book. Um, be ready. There is no retreat. Be ready. Uh, just like I say, I just saw the title, Be Ready. And uh, it seems everything just falls in. And I just read the scriptures. I find them. And I started writing. So it is about preparation for eternal life. Um, Jesus came to do the Father's will because there was nobody else who could come. So, page seven of Be Ready, There's No Retreat, the heading is The Father's Will. God so loved the world that He sent His only Son to show us the way to eternal life. Jesus chose 12 disciples, He chose hard working men, fishermen, field workers and tax collectors. These hard-working men were all acquainted with time and season. They were also determined in their work to achieve certain goals according to time and season. They were acquainted with calculations and writing. Many of God's people, starting from Moses, were asked to write it down. So these were going to learn and write it down, as we can still read what they wrote. Write it down. With their knowledge, they planned to achieve their intended goals. When he called the twelve, one wanted to go back to bury their loved one. But Jesus said, let the dead bury the dead. Another just wanted to say goodbye to the family. Jesus said, once you are on, holding onto the plow, you can't move back. So once he calls you and you say yes, there is no turning back. So no matter how difficult your job is, Christ has a role for all workmen. Be ready. There's no retreat. There is always a vacancy in his kingdom. Jesus of Nazareth taught his disciples scriptures, walked with them in synagogues. He read the scriptures. He gave them wisdom and was preparing for when he was gone. They must continue his work to fulfill the Father's will. Jesus tells his disciples how he must fulfill the scriptures as written by the prophets. In John chapter 17, Jesus prays to the Father. In verse, in verse 4, he says, I have finished the work you sent me to do. Then he asked the Father to bless us all. Whosoever believeth will have life eternally. That is our destination. We must walk the narrow path to get to that place where we will be with him forever. No sunset, no sunshine. Woo! Woo! And then, um, when I had finished this book, what I, when I thought I had finished, the Lord took me somewhere else. He, he always shows me he is our Lord, he is my God. Um, you can read my journey to the courtyard of 144,000. He is awesome. Find your calling, find your place. He will lead you in the narrow path and he will take you to places. He is alive, he's still within us. Thank you.